Well, good morning, guys. We're all loaded up this morning. I've got my son here. Hi. I'm Andrew, everybody. Hi. We're heading down to Lapine to meet up with Kevin from Public Land Stewards. And we've got a burnt or dismantled RV. We've got to load up and get out of the forest. And we'll take that to the recycling center. So. Enjoy the ride, and then we'll get it done. Here's what we gotta take out of here. <laughs> Here's the victim of today. Most of the foam, funny enough, is kind of coming out already. Probably get a stick or a piece of available piece of metal and knock most of that off here. Okay. I think I got and a pry bar or something. What's that? Yeah. And then from what I can tell, yeah, it's, it's still barely, connected. Yeah. It's just holding I don't they like cut through. Okay. Yeah. And the tires all look to be unseated. Uh, yep. these snows too, so shouldn't be too bad to get them off, I think. Thankfully that rear end's not huge. Shoot, I could have I could have brought a drain plug for that. Or a fan. Yeah, I just didn't know what I had in it. Yeah. I couldn't tell from the first thing. Yeah. If it was smaller. a big one, it would be like... I know, gallons. I know. This could have been a pan I could have brought. I remember, I... It's all good. What about the shocks? Would they, are they going to uh, care about that? They shouldn't care about that. I mean, that's... Everything else is steel, so... Yep. Um, Lots of steel. Well, so, let's time. get turned around. And yeah, I was wondering about there. you getting turned around and then, uh... We'll try to, you know, we'll cut this. Yep. I'll go grab my...
a long ways, how much? Uh, each side, come on around. 150 pounds. Huh? 150 pounds of each. Each side, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Hey, at least you're not screaming with a little bit of debris behind you yeah. for once. Yep. Yeah. So tomorrow the cleanup is going on and everybody will come out and dismantle this trailer and throw it in the dumpsters and we'll come back and pick up the frame later. Okay. We're going to do some cleaning tomorrow. Yeah, Deep cleaning, cleaning tomorrow. But they'll come out and they'll clean up all this debris from the other RV. Um, but yeah, if you ever want to help go to public land stewards and they'll they have a sign up for them online and you can come out to help if you want uh, so that's it for now and so we're gonna take the frame to the recycling center and drop it off and see what else we got for today guys so this is what I normally do when we're not recovering people are stuck or, or whatnot so I move a lot of equipment for companies rental companies uh, this belongs to 5g rentals and we're gonna head back to their yard and uh, drop it off for them all right got our flags on nobody pokes their car with the forks. Alright, so we've made it back to 5G. I did pick up our daughter, Kiara. We still have Van with us. Yeah, we're going to 
offload and, and do a little walk around. guys so we got this lift dropped off and Rick came out needs another one picked up and delivered so we're gonna go run and do that um, we're down here at 5g here in Bend Oregon they've got pretty much anything you guys need if you need to rent it you know they got wood splitters we got all sorts of mini excavators trailers They've got extended booms, forklifts, all different sizes. Uh, they've got skid steers, dump trailers, got rollers, and they have a bunch of hand tool stuff uh, like jumping jacks and plate compactors. They got light sets and air compressors. They even have side by sides. So. If you ever need to rent anything, these guys are awesome. Awesome people to work with. So, we're going to head to the next job and then uh, go home. Start working on some of my own projects.
Alright guys, we got the last one dropped off for the day. And we're gonna head to the sub shop and get my cranky kids some food before they kick me out of the truck and go themselves. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.